Hey everybody, it's Lisa Burningham and I'm so glad that you're here with me. Have you ever had a whole bunch of cans laying around the house? You have saved them because you want to do something awesome with them, but in the end you just don't know what and so you end up either recycling them or throwing them away. Well today I'm going to show you what to do with those empty tin cans. We're going to make a DIY tin can organizer to store all of your household clutter. It's going to be really easy to make and of course it's going to be free. If this is the first time that you've been to my channel, then welcome. I'm Lisa. I do DIYs, home decor, party ideas, and a whole lot of holiday entertaining. I post weekly videos and I have a lot of fun, upcoming projects and collaborations, and I would love to have you subscribe and join me so you won't miss out on any of it. Today's project is in collaboration with the Girls Can Use Power Tools Challenge. It is hosted every month by Natalie Callahan from Design to the Nines. Now, I just love Natalie as a person. She is so awesome, and she is not only great, but she is a very talented designer. She does such creative DIYs and home decor. And then her co-host this month is Jessica from Measure and Mix. Now, Jessica does great DIYs on her channel, and she does them very affordably. I will leave a link to both of their channels in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist, so you can see what all the other participants did with their power tools. Now we eat a lot of freeze-dried fruit in our family and as a family of six, we go through it so quickly. And so I had all of these leftover tin cans that I wanted to do something with because I loved the size and the shape of them and I thought I could do something really creative. And so I came up with this tin can organizer. The items you'll need to create this organizer are several empty cans of any size or shape and a piece of wood large enough to accommodate your cans, plus one screw per can to attach it to the wood. For a decorative finish, I'm also using gold spray paint and white craft paint. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is just remove the label and then give your can a good wash. That way you get rid of any of the excess paper from the label and also any glue that may have been left on your can. Instead of leaving my tin can plain silver, I thought it would be much more custom and unique if I added some paint to it. So what I did was I took some painter's tape and I taped off the top and the bottom of my cans, and then I left the center section exposed, the roof section, and I painted it with this gold paint, just spray paint. And I did a couple coats on the cans, that way the gold was really saturated, and you could tell that there was a contrast in color between the top and the center. Now I needed a base for my cans so that I could permanently attach them to something. And so what I did was I just rummaged through my wood pile out in the garage and I came up with this one and a half inch by two foot long piece of wood. And what I did was I just got, again, this painter's tape and I taped on a geometric pattern. And where there was exposed wood, I used my spray paint again, this gold spray paint. And I did a couple of coats so that the gold would be really saturated. And then when I was finished, I removed the tape and I used this craft paint, just white craft paint and a sponge brush. And I painted a couple coats on that area that was exposed and it came up with this beautiful design and it's gonna be a perfect base for my cans. Now it's time to use my power tools. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole into the center of each one of my cans because then I can easily attach it to my board. What I'm gonna do is just get a screw and I'll screw it through the can onto the board and I'll do it using a power tool. Now, if you don't have a drill, you could also use a nail to poke a hole in the bottom of your can. Next, I'm going to arrange my cans on my board. I'm gonna space them out evenly and then with a pencil, I'm going to mark where I want to drill my hole because I want the hole on the board to line up with the hole in my can. So that way when I screw the screw into the board from the can, everything will align perfectly. I drilled a hole into the wood where I had my markings. Pre-drilling a hole makes it so much easier to screw in your screw later on, and you know your can will end up in the correct location. As a side note, I should have done this outside or put an extra piece of wood underneath because I drilled holes through the wood and straight into my table. Whoops. Next, I placed the cans on the wood and aligned the holes. I put a screw in the hole and then using my screwdriver, I screwed the screw through the can and into the wood to firmly attach my cans to the wood base. 
Next, I wanted to put some labels on my cans. Now, I thought about using a sticker or an adhesive label, but since the front is all ribbed, it would be lumpy and bumpy, so I decided to go with just a paper label. I made this design on my computer and I printed it off, and it's so nice to be able to label everything so you know exactly what is in which canister. I wrapped my paper label around the center of the can and then hot glued the label to the can. Then I added another dab of hot glue to attach the label to itself. These semi-permanent labels are a convenient way to keep your supplies organized. And if you want to switch out your contents, you can easily remove the label. Now it's time to fill up my cans with all of my crafting supplies. Now I also saved the lids to these larger cans. That way if I have anything small, that it will prevent it from falling out. Now, not only are these used for organization, but they can be used for so many other things. You can store your brushes inside, your makeup. You could turn this into a beautiful centerpiece for your table and put some greenery and some florals inside, or even some candles. So when it comes to this design, it doesn't just have to be for holding your craft supplies. It can be used for so many other things. If you have some empty tin cans that you have accumulated over time, this is a great way to recycle them by making a DIY organizer tin can caddy. I hope that you enjoyed designing with me today and I hope you got some inspiration so that you can construct your own tin can organizer. If you're looking to update and organize your craft room, these upcycled tin cans are perfect. They'll add style and elegance to your space while being completely functional. Don't throw out your empty tin cans, instead reuse them and transform them into something useful. If you're looking for other DIYs or home decor, then I've got some ideas for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching.